I haven't probably talked to you in two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. Recently, what has been your routine? Um, a lot of my routine has just been rehab, NBA classes, and practice, and that's it. But I think a lot of the, the stuff with, with rehab has been really good, just trying to get a lot of strength back. I mean, that was the main thing that you know was the concern with my shoulder, was just making sure that the strength was there, you know it's healed and that type of thing, and I think it's really been progressing well. Yeah. You're the oldest guy of the bunch, I'm thinking. So, you, Dallas is old. Is Dallas older? <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. You're not the, the old yeah, I'm not white haired man, man yet. Yeah. But nonetheless, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it, it, that is the convenience right. of being able to take off here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, let's say the days that you're not going full born practice. Mm -hmm. Are you in the training room the whole practice? Is that how that goes? Um, yeah, for the most part. I mean, a lot of it is just, you know, like I said, doing a lot of strengthening and mm -hmm. mobility stuff. Just making sure that I'm on top of that. And yeah. Just okay. doing ice and that type of stuff, you know. Training room, they, they really are on top of things and feeling a lot better than I was, you know, even a month ago. Chris, you've been through the preseason plenty of times, and you know what mm -hmm. it takes to be prepared to play a game. Even with the missed time, do you feel like you are? I feel like I am. Um, like you said, just the fact that I've, I've done it a few years, um, I feel like it's really helped me just to make sure that I'm prepared mentally. I know what it takes. I know what I have to put in to make sure that I am prepared. And I know that I have to take advantage of every opportunity. So I think that um, it's been good. It's been good because it's, it's been able to keep me from, you know, tearing my body down. And it's also just made me realize how important every play is. Do you have the flexibility to there's something going on. You could go, hey, I'm going to sit this out. Or I trust you enough to make that decision on your own? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, but I know for a fact I would never do that when <laughs> game time comes around. I mean, for the most part, I'm going to try to play every down. But uh, in practice, you know, I try to do the same thing. And most of the time, I, I kind of leave it up to the coaches and the training room and stuff like that. So. Did you practice today? <clears throat> I didn't. I didn't. Just kind of precaution, I guess? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, does Watts Watts plays right guard too, right? He man, he plays like everything. <laughs> um, I think he's been playing left guard, right guard, right tackle, maybe a little left tackle. So <laughs> you've got to have two of the. If, with, if, let's consider him as a right guard for the second. Mm. Two of the biggest backups in, in the country <laughs> between him and Theus. Yeah. I mean, uh, how do you how do you view those guys functioning when they're when they're rolling in at guard? Oh, I mean, they, they do a good job. I mean, especially to consider the fact that they play multiple positions. I know that, that can be tough, but they do a great job of cross-training and, and picking up stuff really well. I mean, it's hard, like you said, because they're so big. You know, sometimes when you're on the inside like that, you want to have as much leverage as possible. Because, I mean, they're like six, seven inches taller than me. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it, it's, it's an adjustment for them, but they do it a good, they do a good job. So. It's your uh... – First season as a married man, so you feel like you're kind of playing for a little more now than ever before. Oh um, yeah, I, I think so. I feel like you know it's definitely that that extra added, um, just motivation because you know I have a family that I'm, I'm definitely playing for, and it's, it's awesome. I mean, I always think to play for the Lord first, but um, it's also to also have a wife, you know, that I know is supporting me and there for me, and, and also my parents, you know, my brothers and my sisters definitely too. So, so you used to wearing the ring yet? Um, I'm I'm finally getting used to it. I'm finally getting used to it because a lot of times I was, you know, adjusting it and moving it around and that kind of stuff. But um, you know, I think three months have gone by and it's it's actually pretty pretty comfortable. So I can't I came in late on that. So uh, do you feel like uh, if, if Georgia plays 80 snaps, you would like to play all 80 snaps? But I mean, it's not I would, up to you. So I would. Whatever. Yeah, definitely. I mean, You're not afraid to do that or whatever. Right. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm gonna try to play, try and play as much as I can. And but like I said, I'm gonna leave it up to the coaches because you know it's a long season, and they definitely want me to be able to be there for the long haul. So, have you been able, uh, you know, since the surgery, have you been able to lay down on a bench and just throw up as much weight as you possibly can? Um, or, or I mean, are you as strong as you? Not, before you had all this? Yeah, not necessarily. Um, I, I don't think it's because I couldn't do it, but just as a precaution thing, you know, they just try to keep me away from doing a whole lot of crazy stuff. You know, when I do bench, I have a, a really wide grip, you know, just to make sure, you know, mm -hmm. as a precaution. So, I mean, I wouldn't say that I, I, I feel like I could, but I haven't. All right. And so, but uh, there's so much more to play in the position than mm -hmm. that. What, what, is it, what makes you, what do you do that makes you think that you can still get the um, job done at the position. You know? I, I think the biggest thing as offensive lineman is, is having great technique. And um, 
I feel like I've been just trying to make sure that I'm very methodical in the way that I'm trying to improve my technique to where, you know, you don't have to be necessarily the strongest guy. Because, I mean, even when I was out there the past few years, I haven't been the biggest or the strongest or the, you know, the tallest guy out there. But um, I feel like, you know, if you, if you play with great technique, you play with great effort, great effort you know, you can go a long way.